Welcome to the Butterfly Effect. I'm Chris Horner. This is stage four of Tour of Romany. 180 kilometers, six mountain climbs on today's stage. And of course, it's the final two climbs, 30 kilometers from the bottom of the valley all the way up to the finish of today's stage. Has a couple sections that they can rest in with the first KOM coming about midway in the stage and then a couple kilometer descent. And then the next climb coming, finishing with about eight kilometers to go with about a three or four kilometer descent and then all the way up to the finish line at over 7%. That's the highlights here on today's stage. But for the bike racers, it's the first 50K that's gonna be incredibly aggressive. They average 51 kilometers an hour for the first 50 kilometers of today's stage, which was perfectly flat until we start going into the climbs. Now, when the cameras come on with about 70 kilometers to go, there's a break of six up the road. In that break is Trek Segafredo's Tom Skunge, Jan Izagiri from Kofidis, James Knotts from Quick Steps, Harm Van Hoke from Lotto, Oscar Rodriguez from Movistar, and Niels Bruin, the Swiss national team. Now there's another group of three chasing just behind with Quentin Hermans in there, who's the biggest threat on general classification, but he's 37 seconds back on GC and he's not a climber. That's the big picture here for Yumbo Visma to focus on. The group of six up the road, nobody's a threat up there and the gap's only at three minutes when the cameras come on. And that second group, which has already been dropped from the front group, has the threat of general classification, but he's already getting dropped and coming back to the peloton. Now, when we get into the final valley before the last 30 kilometer climb starts, Yumbo Visma have a group of seven on the front still. Throughout this stage, the only two riders I saw them ride, Michael Hessman and Timo Rosen, were the only two riders out of seven for Yumbo Visma to be riding the front on today's final road stage of Tour of Romany. That means when the final climb starts with 29 kilometers to go, Yumbo Visma have five fresh riders at the front. And remember, stage one, stage two, stage three, you had other sprinter teams riding for Yumbo Visma. Now when the climb starts proper, that group of six, now a group of five, because Niels Bruins was dropped on the earlier climb here on stage four, is being led by Jan Izagiri from Kofidis. He's trying to keep the pace fast up front because they know at three and a half minutes, that's not a big gap to the GC favorites behind. Yumbo Visma started the climb with seven riders on the front. FDJ is the first team to attack early in this climb. And then it's Lim Rays for Yumbo Visma that's on the front. He starts an acceleration to follow the FDJ attack. But I'm pretty certain right behind in the picture, we're going to see Steven Kreiswick get on the radio and tell Lim Reyes to slow down. No reason to have to chase the FDJ lone rider attack early, this early in the final climb of, with 28 kilometers to go. Lim Race backs off to accelerate. Now the Yumbo Visma director's in the car. They have to be incredibly ecstatic at this moment. They've only had to ride two Yumbo Visma riders throughout this stage so far. Lim Race is on the front setting a good tempo for Yumbo Visma and controlled. Now on top of that, it's really windy when this climb starts, which is a perfect scenario if you're Rowan Dennis. Big guys like lots of headwinds when you're on the final climbs. It's going to make the stage easier for a big rider to sit back there on his teammate's wheel as long as your domestiques are doing a great job. And I'm here to tell you on the butterfly effect, Yumbo Visma are looking fantastic early in this final climb of stage four. Now, up front with 25 kilometers to go, it's Tom Scooge from Trek Segafredo's, the first rider to get dropped out of the break. Shortly after him, Harm Van Hoekie from Lotto Sudel will be the next rider to drop. Now there's three riders left at front and the time gap is slowly dropping to the GC favorites behind being led by Yumbo Visma. With 20 kilometers to go, it's Bahrain Victorious Pernsteiner that gets on the front. Now this is going to look like it's going to end the Domestique riders limb raise back there for Yumbo Visma as he falls off the front and guessing slots back onto the FDJ riders wheel in third position with his Yumbo Visma teammates behind him. Bahrain Victorious will set pace on the front for about two, two and a half kilometers and then guessing from Yumbo Visma will take over the pace setting here on the final mountain stage of Tour of Romandy. As he's setting the pace, guess what? With about 16 kilometers to go, Lim Race comes back to the front. 
But Jumbo Visma have five guys still left in the race with 16 kilometers to go. When the climb eases off and the road starts to descend a little bit, we're going to see all the big GC favorites teams curb to curb here in the picture because they all know the descent's only going to last a short time before it starts going back up. If you really want to know when to tune in here on stage four, make sure you go back to about 15 kilometers to go because at 12 kilometers to go is when the action really starts taking place here on stage four. It's eight. AG2R at the front drilling it. They'll take their turn at the front and then Enos get on the front and start stringing the peloton out. Sepp Kuss has had enough though. The Jumbo Visma rider gets on the front and starts setting tempo. We're going to see the cameras pan back to Rowan Dennis as he gets on the race radio. Shortly after that, the camera pans forward to Steven Kreiswick. He looks back at his team race leader. They give each other the nod and Sepp Kuss starts going hard on the pedals. He's got the Peloton strung out. Only about 25 guys left in the group. The first JC favorite rider to pop is going to be Dylan Toons. Shortly after that, we're going to see Garrett Thomas at the back of the JC favorite group of about 25 riders left. Garrett Thomas is going to have a hard day here on stage four up front with nine kilometers to go as the breakaway riders are just starting to get wrapped back up from all the GC favorites. It's going to be Movistar's Rubio that throws in the big attack here. His attack gets a media gap of about eight, ten seconds. Sepp Kuss just stays on the front of the GC favorites here with Steven Kreiswick solidly on his wheel and Rowan Dennis looking fantastic. Next to come out the back, Garrett Thomas, he was suffering earlier. Now he's finally dislodged from all the GC favorites. Sepp Kuss sets an amazing tempo at the front, always keeping the gap to Rubio at about 10 to 15 seconds. With just over 7 kilometers to go when they crest the final KOM here at Tour of Romany, there's another slight descent. It's about 3 to 4 kilometers long. Sepp Kuss is at the front, stringing out the group of 25 favorites back there. Rubio's at the front, still 10, 15 second gap on Yumbo Visma. When the road turns off to the right with about 4 kilometers to go, it's it starts the final pitch here to the finish of stage four. It's over 7% now all the way from here to the finish line. Rubio's got a gap still of just about 13 seconds behind with 3.5 kilometers to go. Sepp Kuss, the American Flying Eagle, he's done. He pulls off to the left and Steven Kreiswick hops on the front for Yumbo Visma. Now Rowan Dennis has one teammate left here on Tour of Romandy on stage four to bring him all the way to the finish. Steven Kreiswick will pull hard all the way to about 1.5 kilometers to go when UAE Team Emirates Mark Hershey takes over the front. Now he's setting a fast pace, trying to bring back Rubio up front and set up his teammate Aruso back there, the young Spanish rider. Now with about 1.2 kilometers to go, Luke Plath, Ineos will throw in a huge acceleration. It won't get rid of the favorites though. Right away, Rowan Dennis is, is keen to it and he's directly on the wheel just behind the Ineos rider. With 800 meters to go, Rowan Dennis will come up to the front. We'll see him look over to the right at all the favorites, and then it'll be FDJ that throws in the next attack, Mullard. Then Luke Platt will follow right away and throw in his own attack with about 550 meters to go. Rubio's up front dangling. We know he's going to get caught now because the next accelerations are coming soon. With 400 meters to go, it's only about a two-second gap up to Rubio, and then Platt throws in another acceleration from the front of the GC favorites. With that acceleration, we start to see Rowan Dennis getting gapped with 300 meters to go. With 200 meters to go, it's Agita Bora Hansgrohe throwing in attack on the left side of the road. On the right side, it's Vlasov, his teammate, throwing in attack. Those two will meet at 100 meters to go. Now, wait a minute. Let's back the film up just a little bit to 750 meters to go, and I'll show you the picture. It's Agita back there in 13th, 15th position, but always in the perfect draft in the center of all the favorites here before the sprinting has started proper. Now remember, at that point in time, it was Luke Platt throwing in like three, four big attacks at, during this last 1.2 kilometers to go. And it was UAE Team Emirates that were riding at 1.5 kilometers to go. When I dissect Luke Platt's attack, he went quite a bit too early at 1.2. Then he went again just around 800 meters. Now this whole time when we're looking at the picture, it's Agita back there in the perfect position. Now we fast forward back up to 200 meters to go. Agita's on the right. Vlasov's on the left. 
Just shortly after that, they're going to meet at about 100 meters to go. Agitas first here with the GC favorites, second on the wheels. Vlasov right behind in third position is two riders with Aruso on the left and Ben O'Connor on the right. 50 meters to go. Vlasov starting his acceleration to try to win here at stage four from his teammate up front. He'll pull up even. Agita will drift a little bit to the right. Surely not aware that it's his teammate Vlasov on the right side of him. They'll come up to about 10 meters to go. Vlasov will look at his teammate, sit up and start celebrating as Agita's Bora Hansgro wins today's stage four. Vlasov is second. Aruso from UAE Team Emirates takes a crucial third podium position for time bonuses here at Tour of Romandy. Now, 10 guys finished in the front here all on same time, and Rowan Dennis lost a little bit of time, only 3-4 seconds to all the GC favorites, so it's not that big of a deal at this moment, but we're going to have to wait and see how tomorrow's stage plays out to find out if it was important. Now, if I'm being a little bit picky here with Rowan Dennis, because Jumbo Visma were perfect as a team throughout this stage, but at 800 meters, when Rowan Dennis was at the front here, that probably wasn't necessary. Now, of course, it was Rubio off up the road still with about a five-second gap, but Rubio is not a time trial specialist. He's only got a five-second gap. Doesn't really matter if he wins today's last stage here at Tour of Romandy. But when Ron Dennis is up at the front, you know he's taking wind, getting a little fatigued with that big second, third acceleration from Luke Plapp. That opened the gap up there to the Yumbo Visma race leader here at Tour of Romandy and probably cost him those crucial seconds at the end here of stage four. Now, when we go into tomorrow's time trial stage, remember it's an uphill finish. So we don't exactly know 100% if Rowan Dennis is the guy. Do I believe he is? Yes. But do I know 100%? No. Did he give up some crucial time bonuses to Vlasov that was second on the stage today and to Aruso that was third on the stage today? That's second on the general classification and third on the general classification. So keep that in mind after tomorrow's time trial stage when it's all said and done. I expect Rowan Dennis to not only win the general classification here, but to win the stage. But if he doesn't, if he loses by just a few seconds, I'm going to go back to that 800 meters back there here on today's stage and say that might have cost them those few seconds because it's the gap to 10 riders in front plus their time bonuses for second and third on today's stage that could be crucial for tomorrow's final general classification standings when the time trial is all wrapped up here at Tor, Tor of Romandy. I'll see you guys really soon. Make sure you like and subscribe to The Butterfly Effect, and I'll see you for the last stage of Tour of Romandy.